So, Stefan, how many throttles have you tried? I tried, we counted seven. Well, I think at least five or six. Was there any, was there any that you were happy with? Uh, yes, but all of them might want to improve something, at least. Yeah, um, so. no, no, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, there is no perfect throttle. Time to change it. Everything on an aircraft must have a reason. Ignore the status quo, imagine from scratch, and build what you can justify with science. Fail five times to succeed once. This is how we innovate paramotors, and for you, understanding the science behind will make you a smarter pilot. Well, what I, uh, what I wanted to improve on my throttle, the actual, my actual throttle would be like the, the smoothness of it, so I would like it to be more smooth and maybe less volume or maybe uh, a smaller body in the hand because I have small hands. But uh, yeah, as you said, that will not be an innovation that would be the same throttle, just a little bit better. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we could combine the best features of all the throttles in the market that we, uh, we've tested so far. And, uh, but let's go back to the basics. Can we do something truly different? something truly innovative. So here we are. These are the two new concepts, prototypes that we've just built. Far from beautiful, actually pretty, pretty ugly. Far from finished, actually not even tested, but they are definitely very, very different from any throttle that we had so far. Uh, we'll explain everything at the end of the video. We will actually do a test, but before that, we need to go to, back to the beginning. So when designing a new throttle, uh, we, we started with a brainstorming session with Stefan. It, it was really cool because we just, we just got rid of all the throttles we have and we started from scratch. And the first question is which finger you want to operate it with? I guess I want to use my ring finger and the pinky finger. Why? Uh, all the throttles I had were for the index finger. I used left hand throttle. Uh, and uh, I always struggled to pulling the trimmers, operate the A's, like pull the A's on takeoff, or, or open the zipper, or operate the, the lens on the camera, on the big camera. And I don't know, I've never had a throttle that I could engage with, with the ring finger and the pinky finger, but I think it would be just better because then I have these three fingers free for, uh, for, for anything else I, I need to do in the air. Maybe it will be a kind of a learning curve to get used to these two fingers. Surely it will be, but I, I think the brain can handle that. So here we came up with the uh, with the throttle that that uses these two fingers. And and the main thing is when I study the ergonomics of my hand, that what's the natural motion. So I realized that first. It's kind of a circular motion, but with a huge radius. So the pivot point is somewhere here. Obviously you can't have a lever this big, it would be too bulky. So that's why we've designed, it's kind of a slider, but it slides on a circular path. As you can see, it goes a little bit sideways. So I have the lever right in the joint of the, on the, in the last joint of the finger and, and, and I'm pulling it back it goes in smoothly. Now, the second point of this throttle is that it has a large motion converted through a gearbox inside to a short motion because you need 21 millimeters on the carburetor. And I have pretty large hands, so I can do something like 60 millimeters here. So on this, we have a three to one gearbox inside and I'm converting this somewhat linear circular motion of 60 mil to 21 millimeters on the carburetor through two deep gears. That's how it's called, two deep gears. Now, coming, why is that? Because I believe that with this large motion on my fingers, I can dose the throttle more precisely. That's called modulation, like on, on a bicycle, or you want, you want to be very fine with the brakes or the clutch. And the same with the throttle that you can add just a little bit, and if you want, just a little bit, and just a little bit, so you can dose the, 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 the throttle precisely, for example, for foot dragging. The next thing 
that we have built into this throttle is something we call non-linear transmission. So the gearbox inside is non-linear. What I mean by that? So the linear transmission means if I pull three millimeters here, it will be one millimeter in the carburetor, another three here, another millimeter, one millimeter in the carburetor, three to one period fixed. Now, non-linear modulation is that I pull three here and it will be not one, but it will be, let's say, 1.3 on the carb. But when I get to, go, get to the mid-range, I pull three and it will be not one, it will be just 0 0.7. And at full power, it will be 1.3 again. So you have the, the smoothest dosing of throttle in the main range. So when you do uh, level flight like food drags and you need, to, you need to dose the throttle very, very precisely, you can do very minimal changes on the throttle uh, despite relatively large ch uh, change on the fingers, so it will be a lot, I hope so, it will be a lot smoother to go the throttle. Now, this is, this is the thing, oh, the last thing when we're talking about ergonomics that I hate the throttles, they're just too big in the palm. The only thing you need here is a surface. You need to find support for the throttle in your palm, so you need a surface. You don't need bulk thing like you know, with the Razzi throttle being, being so big. I understand why they make it so big, because they want it to be able to swap to left and right. So you have two opposing surfaces actually above volume. But we don't want that, so we made this, and in the future we can make it from carbon fiber, so it will be really thin. And it, it will, not, it's quite big down here, we can make it eventually smaller. But in the palm, it's minimalistic. And yeah. I mean, it's ugly, it's just a prototype to test the concept, but hopefully, I mean, we, it, it looks like we, we got the ergonomics pretty, almost, almost there on the first try, almost there. Yeah, now we need to go and test it. So this is going to be the first time running the new throttle. Yeah. Stefan flooded the engine now having difficulties <laughs> now having difficulties to start it. <laughs> nice, come on, first time starting it with the new throttle. So first time starting with the new throttle with a switch on the on position. Yeah. Cable is tight. Stefan, I will run the engine to 5,500, which is my level flight. Yes. Then please uh, mark, smart here, yeah, mark it and then measure it and measure in the carb. The yes, stop and then, because yeah. we need to adjust the lowest sensitivity position for, for the, the, the non-linear accelerator. Yes, Good. Hold it for me.
was a pretty reasonable like a jump in the in the in the power band. Have you noticed that? Yeah. I was like from 5,600, 700 jumps. No, it, it was a bit higher, but but I was I was I could I was very very smooth with the throttle, and then f at a certain moment I wasn't even moving anymore with the throttle, and it just and the, and the and the power just kept increasing the the the, the RPM, and you could, it, but that's the exhaust. Now we have the mark, so Let's it. actually look where it is. It is in the first third. I don't want to tell you, I told you so, but I yeah. told you so. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah. I was here, around here, in the, in one third you get into the mid-range. Yeah. Another third will get you to 8,000, and the last third 600 RPM is the, is the 8,000 to 8,600, which is hardly noticeable on, in the sound and in the, in the thrust and anymore. What we need to do now is, so, Holding it. So this is my level flight, Stefan. Okay, I'm here. Yes. Trying to measure things. Five point nineteen, five point two millimeters. So it's out of twenty-one. How so it's one quarter. One quarter, but here visually it's probably one third. It's interesting. Okay, the first millimeter doesn't engage anyway because we need the full throttle, please. Okay, full throttle. So as you can see here, the the, the travel is twenty point three. Twenty. So twenty one. I would say twenty one because we don't have full throttle now. May yeah. we may have that 0.7 millimeter. Reason. Yes. Okay. So let's disassemble the throttle now. Uh, sorry about the tools, guys, because uh, in our research and development developing pro department, they are, they are kind of uh, working pretty hard. <laughs> so Wait, uh, just to explain. So basically, that part it is the part of the workshop that me and Stefan uh, work at. That's where we do all of our like, new projects, research and development. And the left side of the workshop is in the place where Ruby and Aaron to assemble all the parameters. And actually, there's a line here on the ground, and Stefan personally is not allowed to cross that line to the left because he's constantly stealing tools from the, from the <laughs> manufacturing I'm department. I'm not crossing the line when the boss is here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least. <laughs> I hope he's not. <laughs> Okay, so here is where the magic happens. Okay, show me. Yeah, open, open the magic. So, just, you know, Stefan just explain to people how it works. Like, yes. Yeah. You push the lever in and it will pull the cable out. Yeah. Yeah, the little gear goes out. It's normal. But basically, this is how it works. Yeah, and that's the three to one reduction ratio, and we can actually change that by these little babies. We we are still waiting for the epoxy to cure, but these have the pins and eccentrically inserted, so the pin is not in the center of the of the gear, and that's how by some magic it will. Uh, induce the non-linearity, but unfortunately we need to wait a little bit for the epoxy to cure and when it's done then we can install the non-linear gears. We have three of them, three of them, uh, and one is like 17 percent non-linearity, other one is like 20 something and the third one is 30 something non-linearity non induced and uh, well I'm curious which one is going to be the best. So the next step would be probably like let's go flying it, right? Yeah, it's like it's like 10 minutes after sunrise. I came here to the airfield to test the throttle. It's a bit foggy, so not ideal for foot dragging, but at least I can do a flight and test how I can operate the trimmers and and uh if the ergonomics of the 
of the ring finger and pinky finger really gives me a bit more freedom in the air. I'm, I'm curious about that. And hopefully later the fog will kind of disappear and I can do a bit more foot dragging to actually test the second feature of the throttle and that is the long travel if that gives me a bit more modulation. So let's go for it. By the way, Stefan is still in the workshop because the epoxy didn't uh, cure so he went there in the morning to finish the gears for the third part of the test and that will be the non-linear uh, accelerator the non-linear transmission that so i will try the linear first and then when stefan comes i will swap to the non-linear and see what's the difference i'm not sure if i'm gonna fly it today suddenly i don't know if it's because of the cold it's like three degrees about freezing whatever that is in fahrenheit and uh like very close to freezing and uh the throttle is not re retracting properly maybe it's because of the cold maybe we have too much friction in the bowden cable um I'm, I'm really not sure but as it is it's well now stefan disconnected it in the back but it's it's coming back very slowly depending on the throttle position and actually in this position it's the worst so i don't know well we'll give it a bit more try stefan what's your take on this well, I will just try to make the spring a little bit stronger to extend it a little bit, but uh, I don't know. We will see. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's I guess it's because of the cold and we have all the grease and stuff inside the the, the throttle, and I think that becomes thicker, and that's why the movement are, are are kind of the movements are slowed down. Do you think a different bowden could help? I guess so. Not the brake bowden, but the derailleur bowden. And better quality ones, yeah. Yeah, I guess so, yes. Yeah. Because there are polished cables, this is by far not a polished cable. Well, the thing is that if there is friction, it can ruin the feeling of it. So the, the modulation that we are kind of expecting, and that the, the benefit that we are expecting from this throttle is that I have long travel, eventually non-linear travel, and I could be able to those throttle very very smoothly and in and very very small steps or actually continuously now if the friction is involved you, i need to apply some pressure and the throttle still not does not move because i need to first overcome the friction so i increasing the force increasing the force and the moment i overcome the friction it would suddenly kind of like a jump a little step so it's in that case the adding throttle would be like in in little steps not not fully continuous that's why stefan thought that in the final product we could eventually try hydraulic which has absolutely no friction uh and uh yeah Hydraulic would be the thing, but it, in order to test the ergonomics and test the non-linear actuation, uh, we tried with a simple solution that is cable as we know it. So, guys, we need a bit more time. Well, I think it works. You think so? Just the stronger spring? Yeah. Good, let's go flying. Woo! First things first, Stefan. Yep. I believe the ergonomics on this finger is just an amazing thing. I think the, the learning curve will be very fast and I will be able to, to learn the thing very, very well, very quickly. At the beginning, I constantly had the need to put my these fingers on because that's mm -hmm. how I'm mm -hmm. used to. And I got the toggle here, which is because before I used the index finger for yeah. throttle and these two for toggle but I adapted 
pretty quickly. So on takeoff, I was holding the, the I think the, the toggle like this, and here the ace. With only one finger. Yeah, I mean that's the strongest finger anyway. But uh, and you don't need much force. But you know, I, I'll find a way how to hold it. Mm -hmm. it it's 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 a thing. But in the air, it was very nice to to grab it like this like i do and then i could i could totally do the throttle with with this finger with these two fingers and this is how i like it on the on uh, on free flying and even for the 2d steering you have immediate control because here you lose a little bit you have play through the toggle but when i was holding it right here like this and then adding throttle here it was that worked very well doing the trimmers i hope it's going to be visible on camera i mean Sure, it's gonna get better with some training, but with some practice. But Holding it here and pushing with this and I could very very smoothly control how much trimness I had oh and peeling the banana thing I was a dream was it <laughs> yeah I don't know if it's on camera because then I realized that that little thing I probably forgot to turn it on I was like wow it's all sticky inside <laughs> but uh, I just I just removed it and with my left hand totally holding the throttle I was completely peeling it like seriously like holding it like this and I could nicely peel the banana eat it break a little if I eat it with the left hand okay so should we call it throttle uh, peeling, the banana peeling thro banana throttle the banana throttle <laughs> like seriously it gives so much freedom to do like the, immediately I noticed it just grabbing that camera off my pocket yeah no this camera like I removed this and just 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 turning it on while still holding the throttle it was like wow it was... and then i extended it and to do everything with with it, it's awesome now the problems so the overall feeling is good the only problem is that in the air it's not like this for some reason as the cable goes a little bit here uh -huh. i i had it too far here so i need to like rotate. What do you mean? I mean, the, the, the thing cannot go. Uh... It, it was like this. So, uh -huh. you know, that uh, it it would be better to have it have it. I don't know. Now it now it's great because it goes great in uh, exactly into this joint, into this no, yeah joint. It is, I guess. It goes exactly to this joint. But in the air, I always had it like this. First, we need to have the ergonomics right. Oh, the kill switch, I couldn't kill my engine on landing. I was like, <laughs> it's on the wrong position. Honestly, I consider this to be a success. Okay. I think the ergonomics, at least for me, it works very well, except, you know, the little details that it was a bit too far. It was probably as the, as the, as the cable goes yeah, on the, the outside. And then also, uh, this hand is more like this way, mm -hmm. you know, uh, towards the brake. And suddenly it's 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 here it was a bit too far. Could be shorter. I wouldn't mind having it shorter. So I don't need 60 millimeters, probably 50 would be enough. This should be a little bit redesigned, but it's just you know just tweaking it a little bit. <laughs> a little bit here. The strap should I was thinking about maybe a triangular strap like this. And, and obviously this needs to be a strap. It's it's this is improvised thing. In general, I I, I like it. It's just <laughs> it was so easy to do anything with the hands. We need to make the ergonomics right. Mm -hmm. And then when ergonomics is is right normally, and I get a little bit used to, to the linear transmission, mm -hmm. I think that will be the time to say that, okay, I already have maybe one hour with the linear transmission or so I, I'm used to it and it's fine, it fits, everything is okay. Now change just one thing at a time 
to see that what, Makes what, sense. what the non-linear is doing. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy. I was ambitious that the process will be a little faster, but I think we need to test one thing at a time. So at this moment, I consider it to be a proof of concept. And uh, we need to fine tune the ergonomics and the modulation will be next step. So I'm afraid it won't be a process that that fast. It, this will take long, just as any research and development does. But, uh, but it, it, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be good. Woo. Please reward us with your subscribe button, hit us a like, share the video. It would be a pleasure for us and it feels rewarding. Guys, thank you very much. See you next time.